Hello guys! So today for my first video, I wanted to show you how to do a non-boarding stepper model for your React Native application. So this is what we are going to build today. So it's a model that has a scroll view as a stepper, two buttons for the previous and next, and these little dots that can be used to quickly go to one step or the other. And when you are on the last one, you click on next, you go on the main page. So first thing, let's break it. Okay, so now the scroll view is broken, the buttons are broken, the only thing that is working are the dots. Let's see a bit what we have in the code. So we have some imports, of course, the width that is directly linked to the width of the screen, my animals with their emojis and their colors, and the app. So in the app, we have two states. The model is visible. That is a simple Boolean that say, okay, let's show the model or not. And the step, that is a number that is linked to the current step of the app. And it default to zero. And we have one ref that is scroll ref that we will use later to link the, the step with the scroll view. Now we have some functions. So exit model, which will uh, so set the model is visible to false and we set the stepper to zero. And two functions that are not yet implemented. So next step that should go to the next step or exit if it's the last step. And previous step that should go to the previous one if it exists. Now we also have a use effect that we will use to link the scroll view to the step using the, the ref that we, we saw earlier. Now, if model is visible, I want to return a model that contains a scroll view with the animals. So that's that part. And one footer that contains two simple buttons and one view with the dots. And when I click on it, I want to set the step to the step that corresponds to the dot. So that's this, and it's why it's already working. And if it's not, if the model is not shown, then I want to return a simple, uh, a simple screen with the text main screen and a button to show the model. So first thing to have it working, we'll try to to repair the, the scroll view. So the, the big problem for the moment is that, as you can see, it's vertical and we want it to have it horizontal. So let's try that. Horizontal. And that already quite looked like it. But we still have no step yet and that little that little bar on the bottom. So to activate the steps, there is something already uh, built in in, uh, in React Native. It's paging enabled. That will enable paging of the width of the scroll view. So now with that, I have my steps. That's perfect. But I still have the little bar that I can simply remove with uh, show horizontal scroll indicator to false. And now I have the visual I want to, to have, but there is no logic in it. So this is still not working and the buttons are still not working either. So let's try to make the buttons work first. So next step, go to the next step or exit if the model, if it's the last one. So if I'm at the last step, so step is bigger or equal to animals.length minus one. Oops. I want to exit the model. And else, I want to set the step to the next one, just like that. S plus one. Okay, so 
if I am at the last step, I exit, else I want to to set the step to the next one. So let's try it. It's working and it exits when I'm on the last step. Perfect. So now let's go to the previous step. It's even simpler. So I would just want to say, okay, if I'm not below zero, so if step is bigger than zero, I want to set the step to the previous one. So why below zero and not below or equal to zero is because if I'm at the zero, I don't want to go to minus one. And now it's working, previous, next, perfect. Now we are going to have to link the scroll view with it because just like that, it's not really useful. So to link the scroll view, we are going to need to use the, the scroll ref that we defined earlier for that ref. Scroll ref. And now I want, so every time the step changes, I want to check if my scroll ref that current is different than null. So I don't try to apply something on a scroll, a scroll view that does not exist, exist yet. And if it's not null, I want to scroll that current that scroll to and I want to scroll to x of step multiplied by the width. So that means that every time I I change the step, I will scroll to an x that corresponds to the number of my step multiplied by the width. So this is the width. And if I'm on the zero, I want to be there. And if I'm on the one, I want to be there. So I'm one width away, two width away. So let's try that. And it's working. Nice. Now one last, last step because it's working one way, but not both. So we are going to add just a little function here. So it's on momentum score ends. So when, so it's not there, it's really, no, when uh, the momentum stops. So when it's in, it stops, I want to have functions that takes props and it will set the step to the step that corresponds to where I, I just scrolled to. So for that, we are going to use a bit of math. So math.round because I cannot have a step that is not uh, an integer. And I want to round props that a native event the content of set dot x. I want to divide it by the width of my screen. So if my screen is, let's say 200, now I'm at zero. So zero divided by the width is still zero. So I want to be at the step zero. And now if I'm at 200, I want to divide. So the content of set that will be 200 divided by the width of 200. And that will make the step to one. So let's try it. And it's working. And we can even quit. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for listening to me and see you later. Bye.